Hello and welcome to another video walker on my name is Christian. Today we're going to be looking at Toyota Highlander Hybrid Limited. This is a 7 passenger all wheel drive SUV in midnight black and under the hood you'll find a 3.5 liter V6 driving on 19 inch wheels. Some of the great exterior features we got on this Highlander includes a camera on the front here as well as underneath the side mirrors and one in the back giving you that 360 bird's eye view inside the cabin. We also have parking sensors a proximity smart key system, turn signals on the side mirrors, and a power lift gate. Helping us inside is our key fob here. It's got our lock and unlock button, as well as our power lift gate button, which we'll get to in just a moment. Like I mentioned, this Highlander does have a proximity smart key system, so we can press these two lines on the door handle to lock the vehicle. And to unlock it, it's easy as putting our hand inside the door handle here. And now before we look inside, just to quickly show you on the side view mirror, you do have heated mirrors with this Highlander as well as a blind spot monitoring system. On top of the door, you have your power windows, locks and power adjustable side mirrors. And next to the handle, you have your memory seating presets. On the bottom, we have some storage space. Next to the door, you will find some convenient options like a heated steering wheel. You have your park assist and you also have a power lift gate button. We can also open this up. You get a nice little storage compartment. This Highlander is equipped with brown perforated leather seating and on the bottom you have your power seating adjustment buttons. To turn this Highlander on, just push the brake in and press the big blue power button right behind the wheel there. We're going to take a look on the left side of the steering wheel first. Then you have these arrows and this will just help you cycle through any audio you have playing. You also have your volume buttons, voice recognition system and your hands recalling. On the right side you have this cluster and this will help you navigate through your multi-information display. Underneath that you have your Toyota Safety Sense with Lane Departure Alert and Dynamic Radar Cruise Control. And behind the steering wheel you have your Cruise Control Speed Settings. Moving on to our screen here, right now we are on the home screen. And on the left side it displays any device that's connected. On the right side you have your navigation map which you can also press and that will enlarge and you can set your destination. We go into audio. You can see you have your standard AM and FM options. You also have a choice between CD, USB, auxiliary, and a Bluetooth device. If we go into reverse, you get a direct view from behind on the left side, and on the right side, you get a 360 bird's eye view. If we move down below, you have your climate control system. It is a dual zone, so you can adjust the temperatures on both sides. Underneath this, you have a shelf that runs along the entire side all the way to the driver's side door. You can also lift this piece up and run cables from underneath to up top here to free up any mess that might be going on around here. And if we look underneath here, you also have your USB and auxiliary, and this is where you'll find your 12 volt outlet. You have your different drive modes, and next to the shifter, you have your two cup holders, and behind the shifter, you have your driver and passenger heated and ventilated seats. Continuing in the back here, we have some storage space on the bottom, just like the driver's side door. Of course, we are continuing with the brown perforated leather seating. If we move inside here behind the center console, the rear passengers have their own climate control settings as well as heated seats. In the center here, we can pull this piece up and you got two cup holders and a nice little shelf here. And these seats do fold down. All we gotta do is pull this upwards. We can slide them forward, giving you access to your third row seating. To open up the back, it's as easy as holding the third button on the key fob and that power lift gate opens on its own for us. And now if we look inside, you can see even with the third row seating, you still have plenty of cargo space in the back here. To fold the seats down, all we got to do is just pull these little tabs up. And now you have even more space in the back. And of course, like I mentioned, the second row does fold and slide forward in case you need that extra bit of room. We have cup holders in the back here for those third row passengers. And lastly, we can lift this bottom piece up giving you access to your tools to change your spare tire, which is located underneath the vehicle in case one ever goes out on you. And you got some extra storage space to the left as well. To close up, we got a button up top. Just give that a press and that power lift gate will close on its own. Taking a last look at our Toyota Highlander, once again, some of those great interior features includes your navigation, heated and ventilated seats, and a power moonroof. There's still a lot more I didn't get a chance to show you, so why don't you come on down and take it for a test drive. We're located here, Toyota Northwest Edmonton, on a corner of 137th Avenue, St. Edward Trail. Thank you for watching this walk around video. My name is Christian, and as always,
drive safe.